That's me swabbing the DNA of a sheep so I could clone it in my DNA laboratory. Long story short, I was in my lab and thought, I want to clone a sheep today. Dolly the sheep was cloned in 1996 by Ian Wilmot successfully, and I wanted to do the same thing. Dolly was cloned by taking a body cell from sheep A, infusing that cell's DNA with an egg cell with its nucleus removed of another sheep, which resulted in Dolly the clone sheep. So I took my cloning kit in hand and went to the nearest farm. I then started looking for a sheep walking around with my cloning kit. I saw a nice cow. I saw a bull. I saw so many different animals that I could clone, but I'm looking for a sheep. I saw some alpacas. They look so beautiful. Those are the nicest animals I've ever seen, and I was not giving up. I was going to find that sheep until I can find it and clone it. I then found my sheep. He looked absolutely amazing, and it would be a perfect clone. So I took my DNA kit and swabbed it up its nose, which is the exact way they did Dolly the Sheep, and put it in my DNA grade tube and went back to my laboratory in Los Angeles, California. First, I put Cytochrome 437 solution on top of the DNA to stay sterilize it. Then I added palladium chloride. This is otherly known as PDC12. You can see the steam-like substance coming out from the top of the chloride. But to properly clone, they use a technique with the syringe. You take 1.3 milligrams into the syringe and you precisely drop one drop at a time into the DNA grade tube. As you're doing it, you want to count each one. You want to do about 100 to 125 individual drops onto the tip of the DNA not missing a single drop. After you count your last drop of chloride, you want to close up the DNA grade tube very, very tightly so nothing drips out. You then want to place the DNA inside a nitrous oxide sub-zero tank for 48 hours. That's the DNA of the sheep after 45 days. That's 60 days. That's 65 days old. And soon I will have a full-grown sheep like Dolly for myself.